Today, we are making apple cream cheese. What are we making? Today, we are making apple cream cheese pastries. So, I've seen them on the internet. They all look nice. My sister sent pictures of them to me. So, I thought I would try a little twist with cream cheese. And they are delicious. So, I think you're really going to like these. And these are great for Mother's Day. And they don't take long. And again, it's my puff pastry. Cinnamon, sugar, butter, cream cheese, and an apple. Make sure you get a red apple. Anything that you can make an apple pie with is good. But we're going to leave the skin on, so you want to make sure that when you leave the skin on, it, because it's going to turn red, it's going to add a little something to the pastry, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to um, core out the center. You're going to take a little pe paring knife and just get into the center. And then... What you're going to do is you're going to slice very thin with a sharp knife. All right, you're just going to, I like this one, well, you just want very thin slices because you're going to put this around the pastry. So if you don't have good skills with a big knife, you can just take a little paring knife and get in there. There we go. See how easy that is? And like I said, you just want them thin. Then what I'm going to do is put them on a paper plate because I want them flimsy. So when I take this puff pastry and roll up, it will be on there. And I'm just going to put it on the plate. And it's okay if you layer it. It's okay if you layer it. You just want them to be flimsy. And I'm going to put it in the microwave for about 10, 10 minutes. I'm going to put this in the microwave for about two minutes until I can get them up and they're like flimsy. That's the reason partly for cutting it so thin so they can fold nicely without breaking. We'll be right back. Here's what I'm talking about. This is what you want your apples to look like. So this is what you want your apples to look like, real floppy, and just make sure they're all like that, even the thicker ones, because you're going to roll it, and when you roll it, you want to be able to get that in there. I have another plate I'm going to do real quick of apples, and we'll get, be right back. So, my apples are done. I'm just rolling out my puff pastry. I want it to be about 12 inches long. And what I did was, I'm going to show you. I like the French pin, but this was my mom's pin. So what rolling pin? What better way to use it except on Mother's Day? There we go. All right. So what I did to my can is, what I did was I buttered and sugared each one of my pans with cinnamon sugar. So once I put butter in there, I just added some cinnamon and to my sugar and I'll have those measurements out there. Some may like more sugar, some may like less sugar. And then I'm just going to round off my edges or square off my edges. So I have straight doo -doo -doo. See, I have it in nice square. I have this handy little tool, and it measures, but it's also an oven rack puller, so you can put and pull out your oven rack. So it is 10 and a half inches. I will do five and a quarter, which puts me right there. Then.
There we go. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mush some cream cheese on there. You want it a little on the soft, you want it really softened, and as you can see, whoops, you just want it on one edge. And you want to leave, sorry, you want to leave the one edge done, not done. There we go. Then the other side, I'm going to put butter on, melted butter. Oops, whoopsies. There we go. So I just put butter down there, on, so the bottom half, and then I'm going to sprinkle some sugar. Do, do, do. There we go. And then I'm just going to lay my apples. I'm going to overlap them. It's just me today. I don't have a cameraman. So, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'll take the camera off and then show you in a second how I'm laying it out and overlapping. Make sure your apples are cooled. You don't want them not cooled because then it would... You want to make sure your cream cheese isn't lumpy. Fold it up. go then you roll it and you're just going to pull it around kind of tuck it and put it in your pan being rolled and tucked into bed and then you just take this and put it around there you go then you take the butter you pat it on the top of each one nummy nummy for the tummy More butter. Butter, butter. Remember that old commercial? Cheese, marvelous cheese. This is butter. Everything's butter, better with butter. There we go. So what I'm gonna do, put them in the oven, cook them, and We'll be right back and you will see how beautiful these are and they're very easy to make. Not hard, right? I knocked out four in no time flat. So 10 minutes with chopping the onions, or chopping the onions, chopping the apples and miking them, about 10 minutes. See you right back. Look at my little apple rose. Isn't that beautiful? I am going to take a taste of this. I've just gotten in there. Oh, it looks so good. Let me see. Get a little of everything. Mmm. Mmm. So, the cream cheese gives it just a little hint of mm, creaminess and, you know, it's sharper, a little bit sharper. Even though cream cheese isn't sharp, it has that little bite to it or something. I don't know. Cream cheese, the cream cheese in here, it makes it obviously creamy. It gives it a little bit of a more taste to it than just apple and cinnamon. Mmm. You know, really be good over this? My homemade caramel sauce. I'll put a link to that. The apples. They're soft, but they still have a firmness to them. It's not mush, and you need that. Now, when you take this out of the oven, 
you've got to take those out of there right away because the sugar starts to caramelize and you're not going to get it out of the little muffin tin. So as soon as you can, take your little knife around it, pop it out, and it won't stick. Now if it does stick, put it back in the oven for just a minute to get it softened and pull it back out. You've got to pull it out while it is still hot. Not even a little bit hot. Really hot. Because it will not come out. Um, and it is so good. Oh my gosh, I just love it. Any mother would love to get this on her morning. So, if you like this recipe, go to www.justinthekitchen.com. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Ding that little bell. Like on Facebook, share on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube. All right, everybody, happy Mother's Day. God bless. Have a great day. Bye-bye.